Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. It is deep dive time. And the early game today is Adelaide versus the Geelong Footy Club. I want to look at Patrick Dangerfield oh, and his time Addy. playing for both clubs. And this was him. <laughs> look at the size of him. <laughs> back against the Bombers uh, at uh, Marvel Stadium, that was, in his first game of AFL football. And on Dangerfield, he played 154 games for Adelaide, 106 games for Geelong. Three bests and fairest at Geelong, one at the Crows. Seven times in all Australia and still so much footy left in him at that time. So uh, that's him playing for the Adelaide Crows. He was a wonderful player, won his best and fairest in his last season with the Crows before he left. But uh, here is Patrick Dangerfield playing for Geelong against the Adelaide Crows in that next year. So this is 2017 playing in a prelim. Unfortunately for Paddy, played in so many prelims but has not got to the big dance. So I think, Bill, you're going to one thing left to yep. finish his CV, isn't it? No doubt about that. He's in it to win a grand final, and that's why the boys are going pretty hard at the minute, because a few of them are getting older, including Paddy, but he goes around for another two yeah. or three years, but and certainly that would be nice. Kane, just wanted to look at some of Paddy's great highlights over his time in the game. One of the all-time greats he'll go down as, and you've got one of his great goals. Well, this is back in 2011 when he was playing for the Crows against Fremont. Just look at the power. Well, I'm not sure I've seen a player as powerful as him and been able to just drop into six gear. That's Stephen Hill, who at that time was one of the fastest players in the game. Like That is just an unbelievable yeah. goal. He can do that. I reckon, like Martin, Bill, in the last couple of weeks, he's gone to a new level and he's sensing that. But, yeah, what a player. Let's go to the finals in 2015 against the Hawks. And this stoppage goal from Dangerfield was an absolute ripper. Just gets the ball out of the ruck there, up oh. against the boundary line, and was able to put that through. <laughs> and that was a brilliant goal playing for Adelaide as well. Have a look at that. That is just some football now. Nice, Paddy. Well, I'll, uh, I'll go to the one uh, back at the Geelong Footy Club where he was injured one day early against oh. Hawthorne and, and then went forward, Bill. And yes. it was a bit of the danger show at play here, as Chris Scott refers to it regularly. <laughs> but he went off after that incident. Oh. He came back on. He was on one leg. He had 11 shots at oh. goal yes. and kicked five goals, six. But uh, I'd love him, Lotto, to see him do that a little bit more often than he actually does. He was on fire this Could time. actually kick it back. Well, well, I think with Guthrie and Menegola going so well, he's going to spend a lot of time forward with the Hawk and Gary. Rowland, so I think we could see him kick five before this season's out. So uh, he's, he's been a wonderful player. Whether you like him or not, he's been brilliant for the game, both on and off the field. Brisbane and St Kilda, huge game. Yeah. At, a lot at stake this afternoon. And I went back looking at games. What could I talk about with Brisbane and St Kilda? I found a game in 1991. Take a listen to this commentary. How a lot about then is the same today. Lowe and Leslie. Leslie just a little bit of a nudge. Making the ball as ejective, he nearly might oh, get pinned no. there with it. Oh, that is just absolutely unbelievable. Oh, geez. <laughs> but in the spirit of the law at the moment, technically Just correct. the man who comes from behind, uses his body, eventually wins the football and he gets penalised for holding it. I'm not saying I agree with you. Lock it. A questionable decision. How the umpire could see from that position because the ball was trapped. Be more severe, it's a rule that favours the bludgers. Speaker Ian Robertson. Lockett has now kicked three goals one. <laughs> so that is back in 1991. Wow. Filthy with the holding the ball rule <laughs> like we are still so many years later. I wanted to focus on Tony Lockett. I haven't oh. done that in the deep dive segment. And his history against the Brisbane Bears so, and the Brisbane Lions. So this is Tony Lockett here. Round 1, 89, 9, 4, 91, 10, 3. <laughs> Round 92, 12, 3, 93, 11, 1. And 96, 11 goals won. So I want to focus on his great moments, Billy. Indeed, he kicked 16 goals straight. It was a mm. beautiful kick. He dropped it low to yeah. his boot, didn't he, Lordo? And this is against Fitzroy here. And he kicked 16 goals straight, if you don't mind. And Barassi had is... him off the ground, Bill. <laughs> well, he the did game. Roll, yeah. <laughs> but, and this is... Uh, he had a run at one stage here where he had t kicked 29 goals straight which is just unbelievable. Look at that beautiful follow-through, straight through the middle. Ah, oh, plugger, look at that. Oh, you've got to love that. We missed a big fella. Look I at him. I suppose it was only a matter of time, uh, even in the early days of his career, that we knew at some point he would overtake Gordon Nutt's Coventry for the all-time greatest uh, VFL stroke yeah. AFL goal Here kicker. Ironically, he surpassed Gordon Coventry against Collingwood in 1999. And uh, you can just see then, I mean, so big in stature, <laughs> uh, both physically and the aura yep. of Tony Lockett was quite phenomenal, wasn't it? And I, I just wonder whether sometimes we appreciated him as much 
yeah. when he played is what we should now. Yeah. You look back and you think, actually, we should have made the most of Tony Lockett when he was playing. Yeah, it was sad. I mean, obviously leaving St Kilda to go to City 2, there was enough reason for people to not fully embrace him, but yeah. you're right. He didn't like the media. Time, he didn't no, like the media. No. never spoke but to But isn't him. he a changed person now? Yeah. I mean, forget about whether you like the media or not. I mean, but just the fact that... Uh, he looks fit. Well, he looks completely different. Mm. He looks completely different, but his whole personality has changed, I reckon, yep. from the Tony Lockett that we know. Mm. Yeah. You know, he's very, yeah, no worries at all. Yeah. Sort of, you know, he'll chat to people, get photos oh, and all oh. that sort of but stuff. But he used to get cranky, yeah, Lord. Yeah, JJ led me in beautifully. He wasn't always like that. This is him and his angry best. So that's what we love about Tony Lockett. <laughs> this is him throwing the crutches at uh, Eddie Maguire, we believe, for <laughs> yes. here. And it's his father obviously <laughs> getting involved there. This is one. What about this hit? Uh, I think it's Maddie Holt. He oh. gets absolutely smashed by Big Plugger uh, yep. in that one. He this got off that shot. Oh. Did he? Oh, he Peter Caven. He got eight weeks for that. A bad one, getting eight weeks. Who's this one? Malakalis? Tony. Tony Malakalis. Spiro's brother. Poor little Tony. Oh. <laughs> Nearly hit him with his nose, but... And this one oh. trying to knock off the uh, <laughs> cheer squad. old lady and men in the cheer squad who had mouthing off Paul Fletch. <laughs> oh, thrown in the stands there. But uh, I'll ask you, Kane, before we finish up on Tony Lockett, would he be the one, like, someone a kick for your life? Is he the one you'd choose across the history of the game? Oh, yeah, I'd have to say yes, question without notice. But, yeah, you couldn't go past him, I reckon, Lordo. Yeah.